church on Sundays, six to six. We ain't on no route here. You're out there and I'm in here. <laughs> church on Sunday, 66. Root, 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 root. Church on Sundays, yeah. Six to six. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Are you listening to these videos in succession like I ask? <laughs> because, you know, I was listening to this last one before I sat down and I started listening to it and I'm like, you know, it was kind of like, 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 I was kind of a little bit all over the place, you know, and if you jump in and you watch these videos like that, if you just jump in on one and you listen to it, you're going to be like, <coughs> excuse me, it's not going to make any sense to you in certain ways. Um, you're going to pick up on little tidbits here and there, but the important thing is that you start at the beginning and then and then and then watch, watch them in succession because... I'm talking about it. I'm putting it together. I'm putting and talking and putting and talking and talking and putting it together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talking and putting together these things just for you, just for you and you and you and you. And <coughs> excuse me, kind of a little bit of you know I'm a human being, so I got kind of a little bit of one of those. Well, you know. Anyway, I'm on the very, 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 very tail end of it. So you know, excuse me for being whatever I need to do. Um, but uh, anyway, I was just kind of, boy, I mean, I was sitting down here to do this video, just kind of full, just kind of full, 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 kind of full of what I've talked about the last time, you know, that, um, you know, God loves me and God loves you too. And let me tell you something, with the way that religions are out there and friends, I said friends, why can't we all just call him God? We don't need we don't need religion. There's one God, one love, one family, and we're all God's children. Yeah. Anything other than that, I think, you know, I mean, I'm sorry in certain ways. <coughs> Excuse me. Is I don't you know, this is a this is a big word to say. Kind of a hypocrisy because it's all man-made. It's some dude's version of whatever he thought that he wanted to do. And, you know, here lately, I got into a little bit of an exchange with a guy. I don't want to particularly label myself as anything. We were kind of going back. He was throwing out some posts about the New Age movement, just another religion not to follow. Uh, don't follow any religions. The only religion you need to follow, if we're going to call it a religion, is just God. It's just have it's about relationship, my friends. It's about relationship. And just following God and having a relationship with God. You don't need to study the doctrines and the the history of the religion and all the other goobly gobbly goobly gobbly goobly gobbly. It's nonsense, okay? I mean, that's pretty bold to say because there's a lot of probably religious people out there. I think they're gonna be all <laughs> offended. You know, but the truth of the matter is, is if the the only thing the only real thing that's out there is that there's one God, there's one love, we're all God's children, and and anything other than that, you know, like I said, I, <coughs> excuse me, I mean, I tend to say that, you know, if I was to label myself, uh, you know, people want to say, oh, well, if you believe in Christ, well, then Christ, the Christians, I, you know what? I don't even want to go so far as to label myself as that, you know, believing, believing in God, believing in the work of cross, work of the cross and Jesus Christ, you know, and then that's where it needs to stop. I, I think leave to me in certain aspects, even labeling myself as a Christian, because there's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff that's just been drugged through the mud on there. And there's a certain stigma that goes with it. And I think more and more people are searching because they know it's the innate the innate inevitability of a person's being to want to search for that deep love that's there. Some way, somehow, people are looking and people are searching. People are searching, 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 searching. Yeah, well, you know, you know, because <coughs> they're searching. They're searching for God, okay? They're searching for deeper meaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're searching for deeper meaning. And thinking that somehow you're going to find that through religion. And, you know, like I said, I, I was talking to this guy who's making some posts about the New Age movement, just another religion. We don't need, no, we don't need no religion. We just need relationship, my friends. And, you know, he pops back to me <coughs> because I'm not even going to get into the, the in-depth aspect of that post that he was sitting there saying, but I kind of, kind of, 
kind of called him on his garbage, you know, what he was saying, because he, he was making a judgment about something. And then he gets back with me, and he's, you know, and he's like, well, let me ask you, are you a Christian? You know, and I'm like, uh, you know, and I, and I really, I just stepped back, and I said, you know, anymore these days, I don't want to label myself as anything, because there's been so much that's drugged through the mud. There's been so much impressions that have been given out there that people that literally in my aspect and my understanding what I see are driving people away from God because <coughs> religion and the people it's more the people are pushing forth doctrines and things that are pointing the finger at people pointing the finger at a lot of different people a lot of different groups and you want to know something here, let me tell you something. You want to know something? I tell you something. You want to know something? I tell you something. Ah! People are already feeling bad about them, bad and inadequate about themselves enough already without trying to be searching for that deeper meaning in their life and then trying to go to some church and then being, being, being made feel being made feel to be worse than a heart of fails. I mean, golly. Because <coughs> you sit there and say that, you know, you know, people want to point out sin and all the negative, and God said, you know, and um, here's the truth. Here's the truth right here. Eh? Is it truth right here? You know, Jesus, the work of the cross, Jesus sacrificed his life. And the biggest, 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 biggest reason why he, had, why he had to pay the sacrifice is to come down here and, and, and prove in certain aspects that, that life, that a sinless life could be lived. Do you understand? Do you understand me? That a sinless life could be lived and that it was possible. And for that sacrifice to take place and, and all that was within it, he was sacrificed for that. But, but you know, what he did is he paid ultimate price. Ah, he paid ultimate price with his life for that. For that. So that we as people could <coughs> have the, the connection and the conduit with God to be forgiven. All right? To say that, okay, you're you're not perfect. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You're entertaining me. Let me tell you something. God is a lot nicer and loving than a lot of religions out there want to put him as. You know? I mean, you just... Like I told you before, I've been on the spiritual journey. I've been on spiritual journey and found out who God was in ways because I didn't... I didn't, I didn't come into with any judgment to say, well, no, God wouldn't do that or put God in a box, whatever it is. Um, I went into without any expectations or, or preconceptions or anything like that. Um, and, and God showed me who he was, and he showed me who he was in a big way and in different ways that you wouldn't even expect. And the point, the point, the point, the point, the point that I'm trying to make it to you here, the point that I'm trying to make it to you here, God is a lot nicer and a lot more loving than, than a lot of those religions and a lot of religious teachers want to put him out there. You know, it's, to me, it seems like, it, to me, it seems like, you know, even the Catholic religion wants to put God out of reach. You know, like, I, I can't say, <coughs> I mean, whatever, whatever. I get so riled up sometimes about religion because it's like they're taking people down all these different paths. You know, the Catholics are praying to the saints. This is doing this. This little religion is doing this. The New Age movement is studying a bunch of goobly 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 A bunch of stuff. For what? I mean, a lot of these religions are going through all this hoopla, the goopla, and the doopla, and the blah, 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 blah. For what? For what? When the basic, 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 basic bottom line is one God one religion in that there is one God and that we are all God's children on this family, on this, on this planet, on this family. It's a family. It's a family and it's a planet. You know, on the planet, it's just a family. And God's creation loves us all. Mm -hmm. Equally. 
We just to keep going and get in, in, in different directions when we all just need to come back together as one family. Wouldn't it be nice? Maybe we'd love each other a little bit more if we found out that we was all in one family. But, you know, then there's some rough and tough and tumble families out there, too. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs>